Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we wanted to talk about Autopilot and our latest experience with firmware 2020.20.12. We wanted to engage Autopilot with this object in the row and check out what happens. So as you can see, the vehicle actually veered slightly to the right to avoid that object. It also gave a audio warning. Although the audio warning could have been a little earlier, we think that if you're paying attention and alert it, you could easily take over in case autopilot is not able to maneuver around the object. It did pretty well. It stayed within the lane, although the two lane merge and after the merge of the two lanes, it actually merged onto the highway without any issues. So here's the clip again. As we approach the object, I can actually see it from my view. And autopilot gave that warning. It's slightly right before it's about to hit the object. So if you're not paying attention, there's a high chance you will hit the object if autopilot is not able to maneuver around it. So I can't emphasize highly enough to pay attention when you're engaged even in autopilot with full self-driving. And the vehicle merged onto the highway flawlessly. I have to say the latest firmware update for autopilot, it works fairly well, a little bit more aggressive now with lane changing. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But before we do, I wanted to share another incident of going through a interchange and as you see, there's a Toyota RAV4 on the left. I don't know why he merged into or slightly merged into our lane, but autopilot gave us a warning and I actually took over. It did veer slightly to the right. I wasn't sure what it was about to do. And I stepped on the acceleration after hearing that audio warning. I didn't even notice he was merging slightly merging into our lane until that audio warning because I was slightly distracted with the navigation. Then I took over the steering wheel. So overall, we're pretty satisfied with the latest improvement to autopilot. I have to say, again, it is a little bit more aggressive now with lane changing, merging, interchange, and overtaking other vehicle. So keep that in mind um, when you're engaged in autopilot that you are paying attention because there's still some kinks that they need to work out and I'll speak to that in a little bit. As we cruise on autopilot, um, what we notice is that the, the curvy row that used to be smooth in terms of how autopilot steer the steering wheel, um, it, it gets a little bit more jerky. So it's not as smooth as before but I have to say it's still maintained within the lane. What I did notice as an improvement is the vehicle in the adjacent lane, if they're on the other lane and you're trying to change lane with um, let's say Mad Max going around other vehicle that's slower in the front, sometimes it mistaking those vehicle next to the lane next to you on the adjacent lane as a blind spot vehicle. So halfway through those lane change, it pulls you back into your original lane and you end up you know, getting on the, the brake because the vehicle in front of you is going slow and they were trying to pass. Uh, at least the vehicle is trying to pass that vehicle, uh, accelerating and trying to change lane. So keep that in mind when there's high speed lane change and there's multiple vehicles um, next to you, your adjacent lane, um, going in parallel with you. Just be careful with those because autopilot sometimes mistaking those for blind spot vehicle. In addition, when we lane change um, now with autopilot, uh, within three blinkers, you're in the next lane. Whether traffic or no traffic, uh, it gets really aggressive with those lane change. Um, and I have to say it's more realistic. So that's a huge improvement but be aware of how quickly it does that because occasionally you may uh, encounter another vehicle changing into the same lane as you and autopilot may not detect that in time. Um, we have experienced that uh, a few times, but we were able to avoid it because 
autopilot does have blind spot warning audio alert and that will notify you um, to take over. As for autopilot uh, with full self-driving in local street, it works decently, but as you drive on the right lane where the lane is wider, it tends to center itself, even though there's vehicles parked on the side curve there. Um, occasionally, it may center itself and detect those vehicle as stop vehicle in front of you, and it will slow down. So just keep that in mind when you're driving in autopilot on local street. It's not fully ready for that yet. And with regards to stoplight, it doesn't stop the vehicle in time before the lines for you. So you're gonna have to manually stop the vehicle. Occasionally, it might not even recognize those traffic light. So until Tesla improve those light recognition, highly recommend not using autopilot to rely on audio warning with traffic light. Otherwise, lane changing in local street works really well, just like in the highway. Even though we have those huge break in the section, it does really well. Something I noticed lately um, post the uh, lockdown is there's a lot more homeless people nowadays. Hey, so sir. we've been trying to help at least the ones we see out. Um, we don't know what they're going to do with the money, but at least it brightens up the day. If we help them out as much as we can. Another item I want to mention is traffic cones. As you know, a few months ago, Tesla started implementing traffic cones visualization in their autopilot system. It has improved tremendously. Now it's recognizing all the cones versus mistaking certain object as uh, traffic cones. As you can see here, as we drive, these traffic cones are visible on our display. Now, whether it's gonna run into it or not, there's the latest video we saw on Twitter that Autopilot did not recognize these cones and went straight into it. So this is probably something that Tesla needs to improve on. Although, as you see, there was a truck tolling or a um, tow truck tolling the head of a, a truck um, in the way, so there's no way this autopilot could have maneuvered around it. Um, it's probably best that it hit the cone instead of that tow truck, but it could have slowed down and moved to the right, but didn't. So we're not sure why this driver continue so far into the cone, um, but again, I wanna emphasize the importance of being alert and taking control of the vehicle when autopilot is not able to maneuver around certain objects. So again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe. There's link in the description of the video for accessory discounts and also some of the accessories and tools we use that we highly recommend through Amazon promo code. In addition, Tesla is still offering free element supercharging for inventory vehicles. So check out the link for the refer code. If you order through that, it will help the channel out a lot and you will also get unlimited supercharging for inventory vehicle. For a customized vehicle, you still get up to a thousand miles of free unlimited supercharging if you use the refer code too. Again, thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Take care.